हेलो एवरीवन आई एम कांता राजू एन पी असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर अनन्या इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ कॉमर्स एंड मैनेजमेंट इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ बैंक बैंक इज अ फाइनेंशियल इंस्टीट्यूशन इट रिसीव्स मनी फ्रॉम द डिपॉजिटर्स एंड दोस हु वॉन्ट टू सेव इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डिपॉजिट्स दे विल विलिंगली कम फॉरवर्ड टू इन्वेस्ट देयर मनी इन द बैंक and the, whatever we collected the money from the deposit which lends to the borrowers one who need it from the definition we come to know that bank is a financial institution it receives money from the depositors those who want to save in the form of deposits and it lends money to the borrowers one who need it that means to say that from this definition we have three important extremes one is financial institutions another one is borrowers another one is depositors these three components first what is financial institution a financial institution is a legal existence which is regulated by central bank of india these are all born and act according to the banking regulation act then the financial institution if you want to say the particularly it is a financial institution it has to do the function of collection of money from the different sources and lend money to one who need it that's why bank is call it as a financial institution first of all who are the depositors depositors we may say that savers who have saving of money exceeding their expenditure they have money after incurred of their expenditure in their life so still they have money that's why we are going to be approach them to invest or deposit in the bank in order to get the returns on their deposits so depositors also get the returns on their deposits it may double the money in future also so that's why which collects the money from the depositors then whatever they collected the money from the depositor which bank will not going to be kept in the bank cash box as a idol it to be lend to the outsiders like borrowers one who need it in order to run the number of economic activities or in order to do the number of productive purposes so that's why which is going to be act as a bridge between the depositor which collects the money from the depositors and the same money they are going to lend to the borrowers one who need it to run the economic activities then borrowers are seekers of the funds they need money they have number of ideas in order to implement such ideas they need money so such fund facility provided by number of banks in order to take up the number of productive activities in the country so by this way banks are going to be help the borrowers by giving loans and advances to them so that's why bank is a financial institution it receives money from the depositors and the same money which is going to be lend out to the borrowers one who need it then how it is to be make profit bank going to make profit by charging interest to the borrowers for giving the loans to them and whatever the collected the money in the form of interest from the borrowers which is collected and the interest has to pay for the depositor for their investment for their deposits so that's why the differences between interest charged to borrowers and interest paid to depositor the difference amount is become the bank profit for example 6% interest charged to borrowers but bank will pay only 3% interest to the depositors by this way 3% profit make by the bank so by this way it going to be increases their profitability position also thank you